My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need! And I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so, um, I recently just finished Better Call Saul. All of it. It took me a while to get into this show, because, uh, I be feeling like a lot of times when, like, prequels for like tv series are done it's just kind of like do we really need one and then it's just like oh, i gotta watch i mean it, it's not necessarily that i'm against it but it's just like i kind of feel like it kind of to me comes off as like cash grabby and i was hearing like a lot of people say that better call saw you know was better than breaking bad so that's really what like piqued my interest like i was hearing people say that no better call saw is actually better than breaking bad i'm like yeah okay <laughs> here here is my review of better call saw will have the spoilers in it uh as well of course so uh yeah if you guys haven't finished better better call saw then you might not want to watch this video first off i'll say better call saw is a prequel for an amazing show already in Breaking Bad done really, really well. It's, it's much characters in Breaking Bad that are like amazing and they can have their own show. <laughs> you know, Saul Goodman was one of those characters, you know, that was just done amazingly well in Breaking Bad. How, how he became the character that we see in Breaking Bad and just being that sleazy, cunning lawyer <laughs> you know that we all knew of in breaking bad we see all of the events it took to get him to that point and now i'm gonna also be honest the law stuff in this show for a while in my opinion was kind of boring you didn't say that tell me you did not just say that all of the law stuff going on with Jimmy McGill, Saul, and his brother Chuck, and Howard, and then Kim. Like, I will say, the law stuff, at first, I was like, yo, I hope this show. <laughs> I remember feeling like this. I'm like, yo, like, can, can like, we just get to, like, the cartel stuff and, like, all of, you know, the stuff that I'm really here to see. I was not a fan of, like, the law stuff at first. Uh, but as it goes on... Yeah, that law stuff gets really interesting, and then it's just events unfold, and, you know, the relationship between Saul and Kim, and then, you know, Chuck, his brother, and then Howard, and just the whole company, and all that stuff. It did take a while to, you know, really, you know, capture my attention and care about those scenes as much as I did, like the car, like the cartel stuff going on. But once it gets there, I was just as engaged in the law stuff going on and Kim and Howard and uh, 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 Chuck and Saul and just, just all of the stuff that they was doing. I was as engaged in that as I was with the cartel stuff. So it was a total 180 for me. I love seeing Gus, how he came to meet Mike and how they became, you know, partners in the whole thing and like what, like, like how Mike even got into this. Like, I, I love seeing all of that stuff because Mike, Mike after Better Call Saul is actually like, you could, he might be a top three, top four care, care, uh, uh, a character to me now too. I love Mike, bro. Mike, and he was great in breaking bad but like especially now after better call saul and just knowing how you know his story ended because of again walter <laughs> you know coming into play like man i really loved mike so you know just seeing you know how how gus was like build just all of the steps that gus took to build this entire empire and lab that we've seen in breaking bad and i love the scene how when uh they was getting all of the workers you know to build the lab and you know uh the whole thing with the uh, warner 
uh, Ziegler or something like that. Well, I think that was his name. And, uh, you know, uh, how he wanted to get back to his wife, but they had to stay there because this was a very important and top secret. And then how he started saying too much information to people. And then once Lalo got on scene and he was saying stuff to Lalo, but he did, but he thought it was one of the workers. And then how Mike had to pretty much like off him because it was too dangerous now to like let him. Woo! All, bro, all that stuff, like, just fantastic storytelling, just of how, like, stuff played out. Again, with these prequels, sometimes I feel like they're kind of cash grabby in a way, but no, like, the storytelling in Better Call Saul was as good as it was in Breaking Bad. Seeing Hector. You should be kissing my ass right now. You tell them you forgot, you were rattled, make up anything you want, I don't give a shit. But the gun <laughs> was yours, like, bro. Just that whole scene, and just, just seeing how Hector was before we seen him in Breaking Bad, and like truly, like how he was in the character that he was. I I loved seeing that. Nacho was also a great character. At first, I wasn't, I wasn't too sure about Nacho because he looked like a little too like clean cut for like the business but i i, I actually did like like kind of like the realistic take he seemed like a normal dude that just kind of got wrapped up in the wrong business so i kind of liked that like realistic take on nacho and i like the way he went out you know when uh he told hector that the whole reason why you know he's in the condition that he is in now how we see him in breaking bad is all because of nacho you think of me you twisted <laughs> like that the way that scene played out and how nacho went out and the stuff with his father and how his father wanted him to get out of the business but he was too deep you, you know what's crazy at first i thought like before seeing this show i'm like bro freaking tuco and like the cousins and stuff like that like how are you gonna outdo them Oh, say less. <laughs> Lalo Salamanca. Lalo, bro. I remember at first I thought he was just going to be like this kind of jokey, like playful Salamanca, and which he kind of was, but no. You can make the argument that he was the most dangerous out of all of them. Like Lalo, he was funny but he was cunning he was smart like he was dangerous like i felt like lalo was even though walter was the person who killed gus <laughs> you know and gus killed lalo i felt like lalo was gus's biggest threat in a way the way gus actually like looked scared of lalo in some instances in this show like i just felt like lalo who he actually became once the show was over i was like yo that other scene where la where lalo invites nacho to his house and you know they're they're getting all acquainted and like you think things are well i mean at least for lalo are going like good and they're all happy and cracking jokes then like all of lalo's family gets killed and then lalo put it like puts it all together that nacho betrayed him once he looks in the spot where not where a uh, nacho was the way they closed off that episode and uh, like he's looking at her like dead on the ground and then like the way they filmed the way they filmed that last part and then he's just like walking off and like the, you hear like the rocks of a uh, gravel like below him and then the way it turns into thunder as you see like lalo's face getting like more and more mean and determined once he puts it all together that he was betrayed <laughs> oh my goodness that was mwah, the way that like scene ended i was like oh my god this man is about to go on the killing spree <laughs> that's literally what happened lala was just like the most cunning dangerous like yet smart salamanca out of all of them and i just 
even the way he died, it was such in Lalo fashion. Like this, di like like this guy dies laughing, <laughs> you know, before he like breathes his last breath. Like just everything about Lalo in this show, I was like, wow. I I I did not think that they could like introduce like new characters that wasn't in. Breaking Bad and like have me be like, yo, I didn't think that they could just introduce one and be like, yeah, he's better than all of them. <laughs> like, that's how I honestly feel about Lalo. <sighs> Lalo was great. <clears throat> Lalo was great. I also really thought that out of all of the characters that died in this show, Howard's was like the most like sad to me like i actually got mad at saul and kim after howard's death because you know they're putting him through all of this freaking different stuff for whatever reason and kim like you can like i i was truly like getting mad with kim like the stuff that she was doing to howard and like it seemed like she was taking pleasure in it and like i just just the way that that played out and then how you come to find out that the whole time in like the lab freaking uh howard and lalo are like underneath the ground <laughs> and just seeing how that scene played out i was really at at that point i actually was like yo i don't like saul or or a kim right now i really don't this was the first because i never really like was upset at Saul in Breaking Bad. He just was who who he was. But, you know, seeing how much like just emotional stress he gave to the people that he, you know, was in his life. If it wasn't his brother Chuck, you know, it was Howard. If it wasn't Howard, it was Kim. If it wasn't Kim, it was just like every person that came across Saul, like <laughs> Saul just messed with their lives in some shape and form so you could all you could almost say and uh, again in breaking bad he never like felt like that like saul in breaking bad to me was just saul like what you saw with him that's what you got but in this show you could kind of say that saul is the villain in a lot of people's you know uh a uh, 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 story because he messed up a lot of lives bro he 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 did a lot of emotional stress and trauma to people he pretty much got people killed all of because of the people that he was involved with he messed up a lot of lives just seeing how er, how everything played out before walter and jesse comes on of the scene and then of course they you know come on uh you know in like season six as well you know you see little scenes with uh walter and jesse even though jesse was looking much you know was looking much older again i feel like that that was like the main thing like you're trying to bring in these actors again that are aging in real life and they're supposed to be younger so it's just like <clears throat> you know couldn't they have had some i've seen great uh de-age tech you know done in movies i don't know why they couldn't do that for uh the, the way that they connected everything to the story that we know in breaking bad and just how all of the events played off like i felt like this is one of the few prequels for a tv series that I personally, I don't think the I it's, so just saying that this is better like than Breaking Bad. It's it, it is up for debate. In my opinion, no. I still think Breaking Bad was more enjoyable to watch from beginning to end. But Better Call Saul is great. Like I will say that it is a great show. It didn't you know spit on. The greatness that was Breaking Bad with just like this, you know, poor attempt of a cash grab. No, this was an actual great prequel that kind of feels like its own separate thing from Breaking Bad because you're so invested into these characters and how great they are in this show. Excellent show by Vince Gilligan yet again. <coughs> I will say that. So, yeah. Hope, I hope you guys enjoyed this vid. If if uh, you guys seen a uh, better call of Saul, what what did you think about it? In your opinion, is it a better show than Breaking Bad? What were some of your favorite scenes in uh, the show? All that stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. So the next video, my brothers and sisters, I'll catch y'all boys in my next one. All right.